Lauren Floresage here, and I am so excited to talk with you about um, this topic. So, how to manage your time as an entrepreneur. So, get out a notebook because I'm going to have lots of uh, tips for you today, all right? And I'm going to pack them in real tight. So, first tip is get a calendar, okay? Get a calendar. Get a calendar and mark off all of your vacation days. This is one of the tips that I do with my private clients. This is what I do with my client. Well, you know, like actually like with me, um, is I get a full calendar. This is like the whole year and mark off your vacation days. What days do you want to take on vacation? Then mark off any personal days such as, um, and you know, like any specific birthdays, like your spouse or your kids or yourself, if you don't want to work, then also mark out any holidays that you don't want to work, all right? Because many times entrepreneurs want to work 24-7. No, no, no. The next thing that I want you to do after you've marked out your holidays, your personal days, any birthdays and anniversaries that you don't want to work, then I want you to look at, okay, what do I have in my arsenal as far as classes and programs or memberships that I want to launch this year, okay? Then go ahead and mark those down on your calendar. So the whole year, mark those down when you want to actually launch and promote and then run each of your classes or programs. So mark that down next, all right? Then I want you to think about um, how many hours you wanna work every day and what you really need to do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. So this is gonna take a little bit of work, all right? This is normally something that I only teach in my Mastermind Mafia and with my private clients. So think about, okay, every day, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna write a blog post every day? Do you wanna do a video every day? Do you need to check email every day? So write down all of your daily tasks, then, what are your weekly tasks? So some weekly tasks could be, you might wanna do a weekly blog, you might wanna do a weekly video, you might wanna do a weekly newsletter, you might wanna do a weekly class inside of your membership site. So write down all of your weekly things. Now your monthly things, write all those down. Some examples of monthly things are getting your financials printed out, marked up, and sent to your CPA. Or if you do them yourself, do your financials weekly. I highly recommend that you do this because if you wait till the end of the year and it's tax time, you're going to be in for a big headache. So get it all done every single month and then that way when it's you know tax time, all of a sudden you can say, yay, here it is, it's all done. Boom. So um, some other things that you could do every month is one of the things that I do is I send thank you notes to every new member of my Mastermind Mafia and of my institute. Um, that's always something that I love to do. It's just, it's so fun. Another thing that I do is I use Planaloy for my Instagram. So I go in and I pre-populate and, and pre-schedule my posts for the entire month for Instagram. Um, what are some of the other things that I do? I look at and make sure that all of my blogs are still good to go for the upcoming month. Cause I always write my blogs a month in advance uh, or more. So those are some of the monthly things that you can do. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, get out your calendar. Whoops, I almost poked myself in the eye. <laughs> get out your calendar and mark out your vacation, any personal days, any birthdays or anniversaries, any launches that you're gonna be doing. Then I want you to look at what you do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. What you wanna do, what you have to do, what you get to do, okay? And if you take clients, if you take one-on-one -on -one clients, I want you to, before you do anything with the list of your daily, weekly, monthly activities, I want you to look at your calendar and ask yourself, what day or days do I wanna devote to my business, working on my business instead of in my business? And then what days do I wanna work in my business, AKA um, you know, doing videos, working with my clients? So, and mark out the days that you actually take clients. Like Mondays and Fridays, no clients for me. On Tuesdays, literally eight to four is all booked back to back to back with clients. I do have a lunch break, 
but Tuesdays are my days to take clients. Wednesdays, I'll drop a business training in the Institute, I'll do a group coaching, I'll do an Ask Me Anything live q and I'll do interviews. Um, so that's mainly my, my Mastermind Mafia membership content and calls. Thursday mornings, same thing, my Mastermind Mafia calls or you know membership calls. And then Thursday afternoon, I have a two hour window where I do take two or actually three um, private clients. So I want you to think about what days would feel the best for you to take clients, okay? And then I want you to mark that down on your calendar. Like these are my client call days. These are the days that I take my clients, all right? And really feel good about it. If you're not quite sure, play around with the day. I don't like taking clients on Mondays or Fridays because it's the start of the week and I really want to just find my center and really get my footing for the week um, and get some certain things done before I jump into and surrender to client sessions. Um, the reason why I say surrender is because if you've got something going on that you're like, oh, I need to get this done, but you're in a client call, you're going to be thinking about that in the back of your head. So when you devote some time and you say, I'm going to get my blog done, I'm going to get my video done, I'm going to get my newsletter pre-written and scheduled, I'm going to get my financials done, I'm going to get my thank you letters, or whatever it is that you want to do, you can pack all that and you can get all of that in on Monday, and then Tuesday, let's just say that you take clients on Tuesday, Tuesday, it's all done. All you have to do now is just chill, you can be with your clients, you can fully show up, and you don't have to worry about anything else for the rest of the week, you know what I'm saying? So. Pick your client days, and those are the days that you literally just take clients. If, if it's just group stuff, you do group stuff. But really give yourself permission to just say, what day would I want to take them? Now think about best and worst case scenario, okay? If shit hits the fan in your life, like on the weekends or whatever, what day could you like kind of block everything and say, all right, people, I've got client calls today. <laughs> and then take your client calls. Or if you're on vacation, or if it's like, super frigidly cold outside in winter or it's like blisteringly hot and it's epic and it's total beach weather and you want to go to the beach. So think about, and again, this is why we take out the entire year. I want you to think about out of everything, what would be the perfect day or days for you to take your clients and then mark that down as your client call day or calls day. Okay. So the next thing, and I don't have an outline for this, so I hope that I stay all on task because I'm packing this in, like I said, this is just kind of an impromptu class for all of you. Um, so, once you have your client call days, okay, and you've marked that down, then I want you to look at your list of daily, weekly, and monthly things that you've already written down, and then I want you to plan when you're gonna do it, okay? so. Um, this is a, this is an example of May in my business. I don't know if you can see, but I do not take clients the first week or the uh, last week in May. All right, um, these are my predetermined things that I'm doing for my Mastermind Mafia. So the first of the month, I do my um, planning party. Uh, for the planning posse and the Mastermind Mafia members, that's at 10 a.m. Then we drop a business training on the 9th. We have our What's Up Wednesday spirit-led call and our spiritual training on this same day. Uh, we have our office hours call on um, Thursday the 10th. So as you know, or as you can see, uh, Wednesday and Thursday are when I do my calls for my membership site. So, and then the next week we've got group coaching or group readings. The next week after that, we have our Ask Me Anything uh, live Facebook Q&A and our spiritual training, and then we have another office hours call. So this is outside of any um, membership, or I'm sorry, any um, class that I do or any program. Because any class or program, what I do is I will then go into this calendar and say, okay, so let's just say that I want to do like a 10-day class on how to... Um, have life be easy or something. Okay, so and let's just say that I want to do it from the 1st through the 10th. So then what I would do is I would see the calendar on my wall and I'm like, all right, so the launch period would be the week before and then I would do a lunch and learn right before that. So then I would mark my calendar with all these things as I'm planning. And then, so I would mark down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, that I'm going to go live on Facebook at, you know, at, let's just say, um, 10 a.m. every single day. 
um, or 9 a.m. every single day, okay? Because 10 a.m. actually coincides with all three of these calls. So that would be that. And then, because I usually launch one program um, each month for my Mastermind Mafia people, so there's always brand new content. But, but again, look at what your business model is. If it's just clients, is it a membership site? And start to mark this down. But the first thing that you have to get down is your vacation. These are my personal days. I do not want to work in my business on these weeks. I want to work in my business. I want to, I'm sorry, I, I want to work actually on my business, not in it. So meaning on my business is I'm doing, um, I'm actually creating programs. I'm creating content for my people because I love to over deliver. Yay. Now, when you look at your monthly, daily, and weekly tasks, now that you have all of your stuff written down, you can see, okay, so I don't have anything going on on Mondays. Tuesdays, I know that I'm doing clients all day long um, for the middle three weeks. And so what I do is every Monday is usually like my business prep. What I do is I have a early morning meeting with my team and I go over with her. Uh, sometimes we've got more than one person on there, but we look at and you know any launches we have going on, any emails we're sending out that week, um, any big picture stuff. So we usually meet for about 45 minutes or so. Then what I do is I go through and I look at everything for my week. I look at my schedule for the week and say, okay, so what do I need to and have to get done today? And then I do it, okay? And I make sure that it's done that way. I don't have to worry about the rest of the week. I literally can just get in and get out. And then Tuesdays, of course, I've got my client calls and then, you know, these days. And then Fridays is usually like a wrap-up day. Sometimes I'll, I'll use that to do like my errands and stuff like that. But the first week, I usually do my financials. I print them out. I've got three places I have to print them out. So I print all my statements and my financial things. I mark them up and then I drop them off at my CPA's office. Another thing that I do is I review the reports that I get from my assistant um, and think about how that's going to impact us the next month or how we want to tweak it or whatever. Um, I also um, do my monthly review in preparation for our planning posse party. And then I also... Um, send thank you notes, I handwrite thank you notes to my tribe. So, and then, uh, you know, um, and then um, also one of the other things that I do is, again, we double check our um, emailers that we're sending out every single month for my blogs. Then I also pre-plan my Instagram posts. And so I do all of that on the first week of the month. It's all done, so I don't have to worry about it. You know, so many times I hear from entrepreneurs saying, Flora, I have so much to do and I have no idea where to start. Well, the first thing is you need to know what you're doing, okay? And that's why you get out your calendar. You mark down your personal days first, your vacation, any birthdays, holidays, anniversaries that you don't want to work, like Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. Then you really give yourself permission to say, when do I really want to take clients? When am I going to be at my peak? Because you owe it to your clients to be at your peak when you meet with them. And when you're doing content creation, when you're actually working on your business instead of in your business. And so when you can take your calendar and write everything out and say, okay, so some of you might be saying, where are the other, you know, like months, because this is May. I have April, February, and March on my wall. I already took down January. So once I'm done, I just, you know, toss it. But, and you know, February is almost finished. But... Um, when you have everything written out, all of a sudden it just makes your day so much easier because you know exactly what to do that day, okay? Um, one of the things that we talk about in the Mastermind Mafia membership and you know, one of the things that we do in the planning posse is that when you have a big vision or a big goal in your business, you need to plan it out. You need to uh, just break it down and you need to break it down in a way that's feasible. And one of the things, um, all of you have access to the Finish Your Year Strong free gift. If you don't have it, click the link below, grab it. Uh, what this is, um, I will show you what the Finish Your Year Strong um, free gift is. This is what the cover looks like. Is It helps you break down your goal. Here's your goal. What do you want to accomplish? Why do you want to accomplish it? We break it down into four weekly chunks. Then we take that and we break it down even further so 
Then when you're planning, you literally just have to do one baby step every single day to get it done. And not every day, it's just during the week. So this is a way to help you manage your time. First, well, nobody can manage your time. You can only manage your activities in the time that you have because we all have the same amount of time. But so often, like I said, so often I see people overwhelmed. I see entrepreneurs thinking that they have to do it either all at once or just in a way that just isn't good for them. And the key to all of this, and this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this little mini class for you today, is because with a little bit of planning, you can free up so much of your time and so much of your energy, so much. Now, I have worked, I've, I've, I've shared this method with literally all of my one-on-one -on -one clients that need help managing their activities. And with many of them, I've gotten pushback. Flora, I really want to be really intuitive with my business. I don't want to have to structure and plan everything so much. And the thing is, when you do this, you actually have more freedom. You have more time freedom. And you have more space to be intuitive with what you do. And the reason being is because when you write down all the mundane, when you write down all of the things that are usually caught up here, okay? Such as so-and-so's birthday, so-and-so's anniversary. Oh yeah, that's right, we're taking vacation this year on this day. Um, and you write it all out and then you block that from your online calendars so that people can't book at that time. Then what happens is you concentrate your efforts in a way to where you're productive instead of busy. What happens when you don't pre-plan what you're doing then you start to get scattered and you start to feel like you have to cram everything in on all these different days. And so again, and I know that I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit because um, I really want to really get this through. Plan your vacations first. Like literally, when do I not want to work? Okay. And then just mark it out. As an entrepreneur, Hello, that's one of the main reasons why we work for ourselves. <laughs> so we can be our, our own boss, right? So plan out the days you don't want to take clients or, or when you want to be on vacation. Just mark it out. And then say, okay, so then, you know, are there birthdays? Are there holidays that I don't want to work? Okay, mark those out. And then say, okay, what days do I really want to take clients? Again, if you don't know, play around with it and see which day feels the best. I don't prefer taking, I used to take clients on Mondays and I didn't like, I mean, at first I liked it, but then I'm like, you know, I don't like this because I feel like I'm constantly being pulled to these other things that I really feel like I really want to get done or need to get done for this week. And again, that goes back to writing out your list of the things you want to get done every day every week and every month. And when you plan this, and this doesn't take a whole lot of time at all, okay? You might want to check email every day. You might want to check your Facebook group and your Facebook messages every day. That'll take you 10 or 15 minutes if you stay focused, okay? You might want to pre-schedule your social media every day. Again, maybe 20 minutes at the most. So all of this stuff doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it does take you sitting down and actually writing the stuff out and then putting it on your calendar and if you have a digital calendar as well marking it off on your digital calendar and this i'm telling you is one of the things that gives you so much time freedom and it gives you so much more headspace so that you can focus on what you're doing as an entrepreneur because again you want to be productive when you're working you want to be productive we didn't start our own businesses so that we could sit in front of our computer you know, 15, 16 hours a day. Some of us do when we're in, you know, major creation mode. But the key for that, again, is you have those days where you work on your business and then you work in your business. Again, working on your business is program creation, uh, website updates, um, social media posting, those types of things. Working in your business is actually meeting with clients, doing the group coaching sessions. Um, actually conducting calls or classes for if you have a membership site for the membership site, all right? Um, but, you know, really give yourself permission to sit down and do this. And I promise you when you do this, it gives you so much more time, freedom, and flexibility in your business. Another thing is a lot of people say, well, I'm not quite sure 
Well, okay, you, you might just be starting out and you might say, I have no classes or programs. And so when I go to launch, I don't even, I don't know. So what I do is I have a list. I have a blank piece of paper every, well, not every month, sometimes every month. I'll stick on my, my um, cabinet that I have here and I write down all my class ideas, okay? And the, the last month, or I'm sorry, the last week of the month, I always plan my lunch and learn for the next month, okay? So what I do is I say, okay, so, and I look at my list and I'm like, what class do I wanna offer next month? Like, I'll give you an example. This month, I um, actually launched two programs, my you know psychic development program, which we do every single February, and also my one year of blogs in one day workshop. And so what I do then is just say, okay, so I want to, well, I'll, do, I'll actually give you a, a real time example. So on, let me see, it was February 14th. I was just sitting here and I'm just like, how can I massively show up for my tribe? Again, looking at my calendar, looking at all the stuff that I have going on, and I said, how can I massively show up for my tribe and give them exactly what they need? And then I got the hit of do your blog creation process in a workshop. And I'm like, oh my God, yes, that's gonna be epic. Because every year what I do is I pre-plan my blogs for the entire year and I batch work them. And um, so sometimes I write them in six months, sometimes I write them a month in advance, sometimes I write them a whole year in advance. I've, I've been doing this process for a very long time. Um, but I have a process that I go through and I teach it to my one-on-one -on -one clients and I want to teach it as a class. And so what I did was I just announced it. I'm like, all right, cool. And so I put it on my calendar. I'm like, all right, so March 5th, or I'm sorry, March 3rd, we're doing the class. And so then what I did, here, I'll actually show you my calendar. Hang on. It's kind of behind the scenes stuff. So this is my calendar. So as you can see, this is the month of February. What I did was, so this is our planning party. This is the business training, our What's Up Wednesday, our office hours. This was my psychic development launch, okay? So when I go to launch a program, what I do is, well, here. Well, okay, so see the little 16... 17, 18, that was for the 30 days, 30 ways program that I just did in the Institute. Um, it was 30 days, 30 ways, how to rapidly grow your business in 10 minutes a day. And so that was telling me that that's what day we were on and that I needed to go live inside of the program. And then this is the 30 day class end, okay? So this is the psychic launch. And so I did a lunch and learn and it was at, at noon, and that was telling people something about psychic development and then bringing them into the psychic development course. And this time, you know, during this time, every time I went live, I usually spoke about my psychic development program. I did a free reading, so I did all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, and then this was the last day of enrollment. And then so this date was actually the same day that I got the little wild hair up my butt saying, hey, why don't you do another class? And I'm like, all right, perfect. So then what I did was I spent this time right here prepping for the early bird and the pre-launch. And so what I did was I took this and I said, okay, so when do I wanna do this class? When do I wanna do the program? And I decided to do it on March 3rd. So, and it's actually from nine until six o'clock p.m. And it is a full day um, class, but that's what I wrote down as my preliminary was maybe, you know, nine to maybe one or two. But, so what I did was we did the program page, we did all the back end stuff, we meaning me and um, my team, and then we announced the early bird launch for the one year of blogs in one day. This was $100 off of your enrollment. And then this is the regular enrollment. So that day through here, I had an interview this morning. And then um, the last part of the uh, launch is here. And so from here on, well, since this is just a one-time class, then this is the one-time class. Um, if you notice, there's a little one, two, um, three, four. That is for the people that enrolled in the psychic development program. That is the week that they're going to be on. So, um, as you can see, you know, I have a lot of, I, you know, this is, I live by this method that I'm teaching you right now, and it makes it so, so much easier.
So that's how you can pre-plan a launch or a class is you just say, okay, so this is, I want to do this class. Hang on just, I got to put this back in my thing. So you can just say, okay, so I'm going to do this class this day. We're going to do, you know, and I recommend a launch period of being about a week or so. I would not recommend a launch being any longer than two weeks simply because um, it's just kind of overkill at that point. People either want to join or they don't. You shouldn't have to convince them. So, um, yeah, and writing out your, your calendar, putting it up where you can see it. I always have three months up at any given time. Um, and marking out, like I said, mark out your holidays, all that stuff, and you will start to see a massive jump in your productivity simply because you won't be guessing at what you need to do or what you want to do or, or what you get to do. You'll really start to know and you'll look at your calendar and you're like, rock on. Um, I also have a clipboard. So remember how I mentioned you can do your daily, weekly, and monthly things? So I've actually combined all four of those, or I'm sorry, the you know daily, weekly, monthly, all three of those things into four weekly sheets. So at the top of the sheet, I have week four action items because this is the last week of the month. And then I have my daily things up at the top. And then I have my sales activities. I have my, my you know, like monthly wrap up since this is the last week. And then I have certain things that I want to do this, this week and certain days of the week. So I literally have everything on four different sheets that I use. And I keep it on a clipboard because during the summer I like to go uh, work outside. And I usually have a little binder that clips the paper to the board so that the wind doesn't blow it away. But... It's a method that works and it's easy and it keeps me focused on the days where I'm totally ADHD and I'm like, squirrel, wow, oh shiny, oh my gosh, yay, let me do this. <laughs> Y'all have seen that when I do my videos outside, oh my gosh, right? But this helps and this will help you with your time management. This, with, this will help you with staying productive and it will allow you to stop being busy and start to get more done in less time. And that's really what I want for you is I want you to be able to get more done in less time. So I hope you took notes because I covered a lot of stuff and this is usually only stuff that I share um, with my private clients, but I was guided to do this for you today. So um, if you want more help with your productivity, if you want more help with writing your blogs specifically, I have a program and I just told you about it. It's the one year of blogs in one day workshop. It's a full class. It is a full workshop. It is, it's the full shebang. I'll actually share with you the um, agenda. Just a second. Let me get it up or let me bring it up on my computer. Just a second. Okay, the agenda is we're going to do your foundation, your blog foundation and outlining your 52 blogs. We're going to be then take a break. We expand on your blogs. We, we do a little bit of free writing on it. Um, we look at then your launches and your call to actions, which is a must, is a must for every blog that you have. Um, then we look at photos and then we expand on your blogs and wrap up. So it's a full day. I have the whole breakdown on the program page, which I'll actually, I'm, I'm um, okay, click the link below to check out the program page. And I'm also going to share with you a second link to the um, Finish Your Year Strong handout because, you know, some of you are not in the space yet where you're regularly blogging, okay? Um, some of you are just in a space where you have basic things to just do in your business, but you're not quite sure you're ready to start doing videos every day, or you're not quite sure if you want to start, you know, blogging every week. So if you're not there yet, if you're not in a space in your business where you are a blogger or you are creating weekly content, then just do the finish your year strong and test this out. Like I said, create these calendar methods, give yourself permission to try it out and tweak it as guided. Tweak it as you feel um, you need to do this and say, well, you know, on Mondays, I really like to do this. And Tuesdays, I like to do this. And play around with your schedule. Give yourself permission to do that. And that's one of the biggest things that us as entrepreneurs can do is to make our own schedule and figure out when our working hours are. Like, don't work in the morning if you're totally not productive in the morning. 
If you're really super productive in the afternoon, that's your business hours. You can set your business hours whatever time you want it to be. So like I said, play around with all of this. If you are a blogger, if you are at that point in your business that you do create weekly content for your business, then listen up. I have a full day program. It's a workshop where I help you write and create 52 blogs for your entire year. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be done, okay? It is a full day workshop, so you will have to clear your schedule and sit and focus on it to do it. If you can't make it live, that is absolutely okay. You have the recordings. You can just set aside one day and follow along as if it were live for you, all right? So if that is you, if you want more time freedom, if you want to be more productive in your business, if you wanna be able to sit down and know when you look at your calendar, yep, I am done with my blogs for this month. Boom, you can check that off of your list. You pre-schedule them, you don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to think about it. So if that's you, click link number one below, below this video and check it out. Sign up because the class is on Saturday. If you're watching the recording of this, whether on Facebook or YouTube, and it's after March 3rd, that's okay. Click the link anyway. You can still purchase the program and get access to it. Once you, once you purchase it, you have access to it for life, for life. This is the same process I use myself personally every single year to create my blogs, all right? I love you all. I hope you have enjoyed this class and I will answer your questions in chat after we end the video. So I love you all. Thank you so much for coming to this mini class and I will speak with all of you very soon. I love you. Bye.